Hello, 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 sweet souls. I pray that all is well with everyone. Peace, love, and blessings. We are going to get a collective reading. So let's see what is going on. Okay. What's going on with the collective high vibrational energy only? Clear and accurate messages, please. All praises to the Most High. I pray that this message is finding everyone in your best health, your best wealth. What is up with these goddamn cards? Thank you for moving out my damn way. Okay, let's see. All right, we have determination, intelligence, and WASP, teamwork. But the WASP is significant. It represents teamwork, determination, and intelligence. So, let's see. What's goody? All right. We have someone letting you know that they like you, that they're wanting to date you. So I'm, I'm feeling someone's determined to let you know just how much they actually like you. Just how much they actually fuck with you. Just how much they want to work with you. Yeah. Know them by their fruit. You will know some way if they have like that that um that determination. You'll know if there's someone that's intelligent. That's just like if you're going to like a job interview, if you're like interviewing somebody or you're talking to somebody and you can like see the the substance within the actual being the energy from the person type thing okay and then we have girl talk spending time with your friends having fun living in the moment like yeah i like the way that you operate i like the way that you do things even if this isn't like a relationship this could be on any level like yep i can fuck with you you somebody you know i can deal with i can work with type shit okay receiving what you need if this is a relationship wise then this could be someone you've moved on from someone else and someone else is like actually letting you know that they see you this is this is giving me I see you I see you I see you yeah 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 I see you you got it you got all the skills the requirements the whatever okay so let's see what else no nah, this is somebody wanting to date you setting a date planning a date unconditional love oneness passion affection and attraction so yeah like i said it's like somebody see you and they know like yeah i can fuck with this type of person you could have dealt with someone that was gaslighting you before and now you're moving on to someone that's actually going to fuck with you. Like, that's actually going... Yeah, look, today is a fresh start. Like, to actually... Making the most out of the situation. Like, like I said, liking each other equally. Abundance. So, keeping a positive mindset, expressing gratitude, and just being happy. Feel worthy. 
accepting wonderful things in your life. I'm seeing a fresh start. And then we have the chaser. Like you don't know somebody if they just trying to to bluff you, pull your bluff, pull your card, you know, trying to trick you. But I feel like this is someone that's actually literally they was trying to fuck with you. On whatever level. Okay, what else do you have? Yeah, you're in no contact with someone that was gaslighting you. And then we got new love. So yeah, somebody is definitely moving on to someone else that can actually see what they bring to the table. Motherfucker be asking, what can you bring to the table? Well, if a motherfucker was actually putting that energy and that focus and actually gave a fuck, then they would be able to see. You know, they would know because of the the type of attention that they're giving you just off of again seeing how you move seeing how you operate You will know if somebody fuck with you or not, regardless of what it is. But forgiving whoever the fuck this is that maybe you were dating and that was acting like they fuck with you. Because now somebody else sees the quality that you have, that you possess. Period. So let's see what's going on here. Abundance is here. Once again, unexpected money is coming unexpected income give me more clarity on this Look, shower of abundance is here again. It's nothing but good shit. If there is any sort of financial stress that's going on, give your worries concerning money to the universe and expect this unexpected income to be coming in. This could be a job. This could be a person. I'm getting kind of both of them. Yeah, see, like true love. You can expect showers of abundance, so financial stuff, and love. Or it can, you know, depending on where you are with this, this, like I said. Okay, what else do you have, Spirit? Okay, we have courtship. Expect to fuck with somebody that fuck with you equally. Okay, and we have focus on being of service. Your soul desires to serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. It feeds you everything that you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in the stream of giving and receiving in every situation.
if you were dealing with someone that was gaslighting you, then know that you are worthy of this fresh start. You're worthy of true love. We have listen. Quiet your mind and listen to the gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of how it's going to happen. Just know that it is going to happen. Can I have clarity on this message, please? Clear and accurate messages, please. You could have, it could have been a point in time where you were afraid to be alone. And so you may have dealt with someone that was gaslighting you until you found out something. Then you started focusing on yourself and living in the moment, having fun. And then that's when you attract the, the real shit to you. Yeah, that's when you attract that freedom to you. Definitely not by seeking external validations here. Breaking free from any external validations, any external things whatsoever. Clarity on external, external thoughts. Don't focus on your fears. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Long, someone's longing for a change. And like I said, someone was like afraid to be alone. So you may have settled with this external shit. But... Someone is definitely longing for a change, longing to heal. And by doing so, you have to forgive yourself. Someone was gaslighting you, seeking external validation. And we have getting back out there, planning and setting a date and thoughts. So this is like whoever you're thinking of, then this is who I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, so be vulnerable. Someone is like telling you that they fuck with you. That you could have been vulnerable with this person. We have empowerment. You're being empowered to move on, to receive what it is that you need to give you the strength for this fresh start. Okay, we have forgiveness and then we have receiving. You're receiving abundance. Forgive yourself for being vulnerable. Feeling worthy of a fresh start. Something that you're passionate about. 
or it's going to be like with this fresh start it's going to be insane passion chemistry versus somebody acting like they fuck with you what's going on with this Yeah, somebody was acting like they fuck with you, but they was really closed off. You were vulnerable and somebody else was closed off. So forgiving them for, for playing with you, playing around your energy, playing on your tops, something like that. Okay, feminine energy, you could be seeing something in your dreams. Someone regrets having bad intentions with you. Because now they're feeling rejected, lost, fragmented. Now that you have gotten rid of their ass. Okay, we got a water sign here. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is you or this is the person that you're dating. Yeah, somebody giving an offer. Venus is about love. Memories, disheart memories of something fucked up with a fire sign. Or you are this fire sign and it's fucked up memories with somebody you was dealing with. Take it however. Okay, we have expectations. You can be expecting the, something pertaining to contract, careers, or commitments. Divine intervention and communication. Someone's communicating about what they expect. There was a divine intervention. And that's why you got rid of somebody because you was feeling out of whack with a twin flame look what I said feeling out of order and there's the damn balance card in reverse somebody got rid of their twin flame and got rid of the stagnant ass energy that was around it there's definitely a divine intervention here to awaken someone about a union but like I said somebody was playing like they fuck with you or like they wanted you but then they really didn't they wanted this union this structure this foundation but then they would act distant like how how is that let's get clarity on this water sign Scorpio Pisces Cancer Something unexpected happening. Ancestor guides. Expecting communication from your guides. Okay, what's going on with this fire sign? Aries, Leo, Sag. Aries, Leo, Sag. I see projection here, but let's see. It's projecting how clingy you were again with this be afraid of being alone type shit. So you were like steady chasing behind some shit that's not even something that's substantial. Clinging on to memories with a motherfucker. Someone was trying to project conflict, triggers, or disharmony onto you. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, look. Somebody trying to project some toxic shit. Somebody is watching. And they're projecting doubt, fear, all that negative, low vibrating shit with, onto you. 
patterns of somebody steady watching, steady spying, trying to keep tabs. So, again, you don't know if a motherfucker is fucking with you or not. Like I said at, from the beginning. Guilty of deception and control tactics. In the present moment, renewing your energy and tapping into your higher self masculines. Because something is absolutely over with and it's time for you to grow and to motherfucking celebrate. As well as get clarity, getting some truth. And then we have Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, see what is the what is invested into their person or into their mate is a byproduct of them, especially if you're a masculine. If you're out here giving conflict and bullshit, then that's just projecting what it is that you offer. Nothing. Or it's gonna be something. Uniting hands to stand together, and then we have the goddess of love and war divine justice political power teaching about spiritual transformations healing inner child and having personal balance i just seen taurus But let's see. There go Capricorn. A song of praise and joy from the like victory. Like this is giving me like um 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 Someone is going to be really happy because there's a new start. Triumph. So there's definitely unity throughout whatever triumph there is. What's going on with Capricorn? Look, we got Taurus out here. No longer have to be in survival mode. But what's going on with Capricorn? Capricorn. Capricorn. Clarity on Capricorn, please. Clarity on Capricorn, please. One man with two women. So this masculine was fucking with a Capricorn and a Taurus. Unless this is like a poly relationship where there's a Taurus and a Capricorn. Take it however. What's going on with Taurus woman? Taurus woman. Taurus 
stern judgment power to send someone to hell the judge of the underworld it's a good outcome something you no longer someone I feel like this Taurus definitely with any earth energy is is grounding but Taurus represents Anubis anyway so this is definitely giving literally Anubis all over you no longer have to be in survival mode there is a great outcome here okay what else what's going on with this new start oh shit I forgot Maybe. let me a second so I just got up to let my kids in and this card was in my lap so someone could either literally be passing or this is like I said someone ending something with a twin flame ending and then growing let's see what's this new start get in position for whatever this new start is guys we got fresh start and new start so get ready for it oh shit You got the job, so someone could be getting a job. Good call. You're being grateful in the present prophetess. Being grateful for what left and also being grateful for what stayed and also being grateful for what's on its way. Yeah. Humble person and direction. Uh, someone that's humble and they have direction. Yeah, guidance. Expressing gratitude. Healing, being calm. Cash flowing into your life like waters. Armageddon, the war to end all wars. So yeah, you're no longer going to have to be in survival mode. If you've been in this soldier life energy, you no longer have to be in that. Especially not if you built to last. Yeah, grieving. Someone could really be fucking losing someone here. That's crazy. Root chakra. Protecting your truth in the midst of chaos. Grounding your energy. When someone insults you, then just pause and ask them, are you okay? Especially if they are persistently. Yeah, don't respond to the bullshit. You're going to have someone to take time with you. To be loving and nurturing to your soul. Can't you see what's going on? When somebody is trying to insult you, it's a reflection of them. It has nothing to do with you personally. Let's see what's going on with this water sign. A broken, if it's a female, that's a broken woman. If someone walked away from their destiny to be with this broke, this broken person, because they were insecure, weak, they walked away from their foundation. 
What's going on with water signs? Yeah, look, we got a broken woman, insecure, weak, needy, self-centered, bitter, depressed, and unorganized. Water sign could be prolonging the process with something. That could be the motherfucker that's in the, the damn um, codependent energy. Y'all take it however, child. I just seen neighbor. Okay, anyway, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. What's going on? Deception, manipulation, conflict, and discord. So, yeah, whatever the fuck is going on with this water sign, it ain't nothing good. So, you like other dudes. So, somebody could be getting caught up for some shit. Damn, and somebody don't know how to... Shut up. Shut up. How the fuck you a grown-ass person don't know how to cook? I'm just curious. They a piece of shit, but they could be a very kinky partner. Somebody is a groupie. Worrying about what's going on on your plate. And they gonna fuck around and starve. Ciao. Mm. Ciao. Shit your mouth. What's going on with this damn Ira did fire sign? Yeah, look at that. Taurus or Scorpio could be significant. Someone is going to be getting paid weekly. Yeah, look at that. Somebody definitely lurking. But somebody got a motherfucking target on their back. And someone else is very prosperous. Okay, so again, somebody trying to fuck around, worry about what's on your plate. Because they see that you're prosperous. And this motherfucking, somebody, this could either be you with a target on your back and motherfuckers is watching you. Or this is this motherfucking stalker. Somebody could be in a townhouse or a condo doesn't necessarily have to be but that was the next thing that i seen oh yeah i did see air sign on here as well wasn't air sign yep sure is okay what's going on with air sign gemini libra aquarius Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh. Lack direction, feeling powerless. This could be an air sign child. Air sign. I just seen Libra. Damn, I don't know where it went to. What's going on with this air sign? I guess this is an air sign child. Air sign child. Air sign child, Gemini, look, they go Libra.
This could be an organization that has a target on their back because they lack direction. Or someone could be like a part of an organization with a target on your back. Take it however, honey. Y'all know what y'all folks got going on. But let's see. Air sign. Nip it in the bud and grow the fuck up. Life path number nine. Yeah, someone is a priest, a healer, an artist, healing the world through their wisdom. That's why I say it's focused on being of service. Someone could be a bartender or a shooter girl. Go with your gut while making decisions. Okay, we have telecommunication. Yeah, this could be a teenager child, a telecommunication scammer. A bartender or a shooter. Somebody that work in a club is a piece of shit parent. This organization sees someone as a humble person. So for the job sense of it. Judge of the dead. The underworld. So Osiris is here again. Not again. Because I said that could be Anubis. But this is. It said judge of the dead. To send. Like having the power to send somebody to hell. I don't know where it went to. Anyways, y'all seen it. So let's see what else. A soulless person. A soulless person. Yeah, see, somebody's stuck between a karmic and their real person. We got 1990s and 2000s. Child. There's definitely a child involved somewhere. Yeah, there's some evil ass person. Okay. This child could have been sheltered their entire life. Or this is a person. Take it however. He in love with somebody else. A double minded mind. A double minded man is unstable in all of his ways. And what I said. Fake love. What's this piece of shit parent?
I'm on they ass, just chill. So if somebody was saying you're a piece of shit parent, this is a masculine possibly. There's past, this, whoever this piece of shit parent is, there's past the point of no return. And ancestors is on their goddamn ass. Because whatever somebody was trying to do, they're going to fucking regret it. Let me get some of these. And then I'm going to end it because I didn't know I was going this long. What's going on? We got musical notes. Eight days. Just hold on. Don't trust that motherfucker. So, yeah, somebody is very evil. Don't trust them. Eight days. I wonder what the fuck going on in eight days. We got North Dakota, South Dakota. Eight days. Yeah, look, we got Parenthood, West Virginia, or Virginia. Something in a bag. We got Feet, Sleepwalker, Exit, and Rap. Someone could definitely be a rapper. Some sort of artist could be significant. Happy Feet, Pluck, Woodpecker, and Watch Band. Roof, Soldier, Call, Star Wars, and Godzilla. We have a guitarist, a mansion, Mary, Hungry, and Sherlock Holmes. So there could be like some sort of mysteries that's being solved. I don't know, child, but. Yeah, something being front page. Surveillance camera. Let me see what this eight days is. Hold on for eight days. Eight days. Let's get clarity on eight days. Oh, a muffin is significant. Shower, call, front page, and winter games. Moose. Moose was in my last reading. Um, I don't remember what exactly which one it was. Someone is going to be getting praise, getting recognition, being in the spotlight. Something could take eight days. Eight days. Yeah, embracing change, personal power, moving forward. Okay, don't trust that motherfucker. Exit. Move to, look, I'm telling you, I said exit. Move to calmer waters, don't fuck with them. I don't know what this is. Don't trust that motherfucker. Who is it not to trust? Look, waiting on a sign to reclaim your power. You could have been blinded to the truth due to experiencing some setbacks. And you were being stubborn and... Um, it just could have been a bunch of negative stuff and you were like, man, fuck this. Because of all the setbacks. Release that. Because um, you're waiting on timing and eight days is very significant for something. Who is this that is telling you somebody that you fuck with is saying not to fuck with them? Somebody that you partying with? Something. Don't trust that motherfucker. Reality check. 
it, it fell like this. So you could be like feeling like you don't, you ain't, somebody ain't listening to that motherfucking intuition on something. It's telling you to move on, don't fuck with them, do that, listen to it. But there's also, even though it's feeling like shit is fucked up, there's wishful thinking, there's endless possibilities. It's good shit. But it's like you got bullshit around you. Don't trust that motherfucker. Who is the motherfucker not to trust? That's what we need to know. Anybody that's trying to cling on to you, that's afraid of moving on, that's causing stagnant shit, move the fuck from that person. Somebody is a fucking follower. Don't don't goddamn follow the leader. Be the leader. Who is this? What is this the sign of this person? Don't trust that motherfucker. Look, unrequited love. Catastrophic event. So something is happening. Who is that? Who is the energy? Why the fuck? <laughs> Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Who is it saying not to trust? This is an Aquarius. Move on to calmer water. Don't be afraid of moving on. Yeah, learn to say no. Somebody is irresponsible as fuck. Don't fuck with them. Don't trust them. Don't something yeah what i said this is an aquarius male possibly libra gemini libra aquarius masculine don't trust them someone that's manipulative abusive and controlling imbalances no move around it you don't need that Thank you for the answers. I guess I did need a motherfucking mic check one too. <laughs> Work with someone else if you need help with letting go of grief and healing. You know, focus with, work with people that's on the same shit that you want. That's on the same frequency that's, that thinks the same. Y'all have the same common goals. Someone that you can collaborate with. And look at that. This is um, definitely Scorpio energy, right? Let me be sure. What was that? Death card. Yeah, that's Scorpio energy. I don't know why I just had a brain fart. But, yeah, there's definitely new beginnings. And we have inheritance, family security, family. There's new beginnings for someone's family. Yep, surviving a disaster and a peaceful resolution. There could be an earth sign masculine that is deceiving himself or maybe even trying to be corrupt and really greedy and like just a nasty ass person. This is the water sign, I mean the air sign masculine and the earth sign masculine fell in reverse. Yeah, we got self-deception, someone being greedy, corrupt, and materialistic. Isolate from that. Seize the opportunity for realizing the truth, for, you know, focusing on your new direction. Withdraw and, like, focus on your own shit. So, again, don't be entertaining bullshit. Or you're going to be burnt out. Free yourself. Or you're literally like. If you fold on your belief. You're going to be burnt the fuck out. Point blank period. Free spirit. And manifest these money opportunities. Financial abundance and prosperity. Lead with your heart. 
Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Femme could be significant. Divine feminine being done with the heartbreak, the sorrow, the whatever. This divine fem is a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, female. This could be a cusp. Yeah, the truth about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Femme, heartache, sorrow, trauma. And then we have the water sign, someone being done with the instability, somebody being lazy. Don't lose faith. Keep going. Happy changes is right is right there happy camper a coffee shop could be significant copy and paste cut and paste Never lose faith. Keep going on seizing opportunities, realizing the truth, experiencing breakthroughs in your life. Okay? And that's all I have for you. Love you. Bye.